Hi, this is Jeff Huckabee at RackA.com, and today I want to talk about adding some logging details into cPanel to help you find spammers. We often deal with this at RackA uh, with our customers. So click into your WHM control panel, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the XM logs to provide more detail when spam comes from locally on the server. So locally means web forms or anything that's sending email directly from the server, this is what we're going to change. So I log into WHM, search for XM, go into the XM Configuration Manager, click Advanced Editor, and then what we want to do is we want to find a section that begins with log underscore selectors. So here it is here. I just search for it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace the default that's in here with much more detail. What this will do is provide some useful information in our logs to help find spammers, particularly those coming from web forms. So as you can see, this is quite a bit more information. And I've posted this snippet on the, the blog post, so if you go over to our blog and check out this post, uh, you can find the details there. So after we put this in here, we're going to have to scroll down to the bottom here and click Save. And that will restart Exum and apply the configuration. Now, I want to show you a little example of sort of what to look for in logs once you've applied this. So I've pulled out a little log snippet here and sanitized it a bit. And what you'll find here is this is the most critical bit right here, this uh, CWD. What this is telling you is where the script was that sent this email. So in this case, home example public HTML, the script that sent this email is somewhere in there. And a great little thing to do is, is to grep your logs for CWD slash home, and you will find a lot of listings. And if you happen to see a tons and thousands of hits, that's where the script likely resides, and you can look at that directory and hopefully find the spam. Hope this helped. This is another quick little two-minute tutorial, and get the most use out of your cPanel server.